so today we are going to create a counter app using re yeah, react js functional component and use a state hooks okay so i'm going to open up this folder with vs code and then remove this terminal and open up a new terminal with git bash so i'm going to write down here npx create react app name counter okay so our application has been successfully installed so i am going to change the directory cd counter and just npm start and just try to npm start to run the application so you can see here is our fresh new react application so uh, uh, by this time i am going to click here and copy the bootstrap cdn for using this application counter application so I'm going to click public and index.html just remove this comments remove this one and we don't need this main face so I'm going to write here link and just paste the CDN link here okay and also change the title to counter app okay and just save here and I'm going to remove this logo this logo main face and robot txt we don't need this one and also okay so everything is okay so i'm going to also remove this app.css app test logo svg report web vitals setup test just remove these files and okay our application has just break so i am going to click here index.js and remove this and remove this one okay so it must be run so i'm going to change this lines here so i'm going to import react and then our hooks use state okay also remove this so our app should run okay and now i'm going to write down here bootstrap class container and then type here my5 as margin top and bottom and we'll write down here card so card should be text center and margin bottom and top 5 and then we are going to uh, write down here card body so card body here and then write h1 that counter app okay so you can see that is our counter app it should be comes yeah with the card okay so i'm going to take another div and just class name should be my5 top and bottom 5 and then so h2 this is our it should be a count it should be show count 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then we will also show the buttons okay so for the buttons we can simply type here buttons and use bootstrap class so i'm going to use bootstrap class btn btn success and then type here horizontally margin so mx3 and then left right for the left and right i use three okay so it should be increment and then decrement and then reset button okay so i'm going to write here decrement d e c r e m e n t decrement and then reset okay and this should be danger and this should be secondary s e c o n d a r y secondary okay you can able to see the count three buttons with count so i'm going to write down here m y5 so it should be some space yeah so i'm going to use our state i'm going to um, write here our use our use state hook so const a variable name count and set count okay and then the initial value is use state zero so if i'm going to show here like count you can see the initial value is zero okay and if i'm going to write down here suppose five and the initial value should be five so this is just a variable okay and the and 
the initial value is showing here so I'm going to write arrow function here so on click so on click here set count count plus one okay and then we are going to just simply write down here minus one so it should be increased and decreased by one okay so increment one decrement zero i mean minus one okay and then for the for this reset so set count to the initial value is zero okay so uh, i forgot to write arrow function okay so you can see our application is successfully working now and we don't want user to go with minus value so i'm going to disable if user disable this button so disabled should count equal equal zero so it should be it should be disabled when the count value is zero and for the reset we use the same disabled option here so you can see increment and decrement these two buttons has been disabled and also this reset working so if you have any questions please let me know thank you so much